Hi guys. Um, I had some thoughts that I just felt like I wanted to pop on and share with you. Um, I've been thinking, so I am working on a project with my friend, um, and it involves herbalism, um, and it involves teaching and learning, and we've been thinking about, uh, systems and in the way that we teach and the way that we learn things. Um, and I've also been um, watching Career Eye, um, the new season, uh, well it's like four episodes and they're in Japan. And um, I think one of the main things that the people on the show have s struggled with is this idea of trying to conform to an idea of themselves. Um, and I know that that is a struggle for a lot of people here in this country. And I don't know if it's worse in Japan, but it seemed, uh, it seemed, it seemed, it seemed just as hard or harder there. Um, but, so then my, I thought about school and how you think that you're being taught how to get to know yourself and who you are. At least I did. Um, but I don't think you are. Um, I think school perhaps serves a purpose of um, teaching you how to conform and to follow rules and to, um, if you don't kind of fit in with um, society's ideas, you are bullied. Um, and me and my partner were like, was anyone not bullied? Like, you know, I was bullied, he was bullied. Um, and then were there just like people who were pressured into bullying others and other people who were bu getting bullied and those were just the two, you know, either you were a bully you know, you bullied or you were, or you got bullied, um, which is hard. And I think a lot of us have like stuffed down who we are in order to conform. Um, and I was like, wow, you know, I am cisgendered. I am straight. And I had issues with who I am and conforming. I didn't fit in. Um, and, you know, and I was like, wow, if you were gay or trans or anything else, it must have been even worse than I can't even imagine. So, yeah. <clears throat> So he then thinks about that, and then I cycled back around to herbalism. Um, and this question of um, it, so it seems like the society at large and the the capitalistic system that we're in would like us to conform. It would be better for us if we were all very similar. Um, and then I was thinking about herbalism and how herbal medicine doesn't conform or, you know, it's very wild um and um it seems to um embrace uniqueness um you know and you very much think that if it was possible um they would just pave over all of the natural landscape um, 
And so like it seems like nature itself does not conform, so we want to try to get rid of that. Um, even though we really need it, you know. Um, and uh, although when we try to get to conform, things go wrong, um, and uh, you have very unhealthy soil and very unhealthy plants and um, I'm sorry if this is like a meandering think. Um, so I was thinking about um, my like identity as an herbalist um, and also how like herbs and herbal medicine can help us get back to ourselves um, after we've been so used to conforming. Um, so, um, yeah, so it, it took me a while um, and I, you know, I found, you know, just with getting to know the plants, um, observing them, um, you know, uh, wild crafting, um, noting that they are, you know, they can be just, they're just different each year. Um, and I know people have said that sometimes one patch of herbs are, you know, there one year and the next they're not. Um, so it, it seems to have a very, like, uh, unique and random and just, you know, you sort of have to just watch and be on your toes uh, for patterns when you're, um, you know, wildcrafting. Um, and I found out I was good with salves and oils and I'm terrible. I'm okay with tinctures, but I'm not good with creams or anything else. So that seems to be my main focus. Um, but I think it's a real a real issue um, learning how to get back to ourselves um, and and learning and in in that sorry um, so I think if you want to figure out what kind of herbalist you are um, and in doing so also help you to reconnect with your true self and your wild self and your, um, you know, this self that kind of doesn't fit in and that's okay. Um, Susan Weed has a really excellent section on the wise woman tradition and that is a good uh, place to start. Um, because the wise woman tradition is very individualized. Each person is different, each situation is unique. Um, and it's really different than our traditional Western medicine where everyone is supposed to fit in a cookie cutter shape. And we don't. Um, and so, and then just observing the plants you know, um, and seeing what they do from, from year to year. Um, and I feel like that would help, um, you know, also learning how to make all the medicines and seeing really where you, <clears throat> where you fit doing experiments and don't be afraid to mess up and you can't really mess up too much. I mean, um, and, um, you know, so that, um, but I really think that that's what herbalism helps to do. Um, maybe both for the patient and for the person learning herbalism, the practitioner. Um, it breaks this, um, <clears throat> this idea that we have to conform. It gives us a glimpse of how to be wild again 
Um, and I think that's very valuable in our current society. And I think we've been very damaged by this idea. Um, and there's no like roadmaps on how to learn about yourself, especially after you've buried it so far down. There's just like this huge unearthing process. Like how do we start that process? Um, and I really think like going out in nature and like just even if you're not interested in herbalism, just you could garden, just looking at the plants and the trees and, um, you know, um, I think that's a really good first step. So I'm sorry if this is long and rambly. I had like this really odd like mind think about society and herbalism and um, our sense of self and how we what we learn in school and and why school is the way it is um you know it's everything is very we sit in rows you know in desks and and we learn how to follow the rules and all that stuff and like if school was about finding who we are we it would be different um and um but I do think that's really important to find out who you are and try to embrace that. And, um, yeah. So, um, thank you for sitting through this quite long ramble. And, um, I hope that maybe this has resonated with you. Um, and, um, yeah, if you have any thoughts, please, I'd love to hear them in the comments. So, um, bye.